I hope you are well. If you're new, I'm Stacy, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my empty apartment tour. I moved into this apartment about three and a half weeks ago, and that is when I actually filmed the tour itself. So the apartment was completely empty. However, if you can hear the echo around me, the apartment is still pretty empty. I moved here with basically no furniture. So I am slowly filling it up, but it is still very much a work in progress. However, I did want to film it in its totally empty state uh, right when I got here. Just so you guys have an idea of the starting point and what the space looks like without anything in it. I really want to document the process of decorating my apartment. It's something that I really love to do and I've been so excited to have a clean slate to kind of start over. As much as I love my old apartment in Portland, I had definitely outgrown the apartment and I'd outgrown the style of it as well. So I'm really, really excited for something new and fresh. If you haven't seen my prior videos, I did just move from Portland to Austin. I lived in Portland for about seven years and for the last three and a half years, I was in a 1920s studio full of vintage touches, built-in cabinets, original wood floors, uh, old fixtures, that kind of thing. And what it lacked in modern amenities and space, it made up for in charm. My new apartment is a complete 180 from that. So like I said, I just moved to Austin. I'm also working full-time remote. I kept my old job, so I am going to be continuing on working from home. So having space for a workspace was really important to me. My new apartment is a new build. I think they finished it at the end of 2019. So only one other tenant has lived in here, worlds away from the probably dozens of tenants who occupied my old apartment prior to me. It is a one bedroom apartment. It's got a balcony. It has kind of a separate dining area, which I'm using as an office. That's where I'm sitting right now. And it even faces the opposite direction. My old apartment faced east. So I got sunsets every morning. This apartment faces northwest. So as you can see, the setting sun is shining right through the windows. All right, that sun is shining through super bright. So I am going to jump right into the tour. All right, so here it is the front door, obviously where you come into the apartment. To the side is this little kind of, it's very shallow, but like a little nook um, entry area. There's like a small shelf here. You can put keys or something um, and enough room here for like a little console table. And then to the left, to the right, depending on which way you're looking at it, of the front door is the kitchen. Um, I have a couple of things from my car unpacked in here, so excuse that. But this is the kitchen, nice and big, big fridge, which I love. This is way bigger than my old fridge. Um, I love the white countertops and the like faux marble backsplash. Regular like flat top electric range and microwave um, above that. And then over here is where the sink is. So it's a little like peninsula kind of situation the way that it is laid out dishwasher is here um, and there's a trash bin over here we have valet trash service here so that's what that is for pendant lights up above the little kitchen island and that is the kitchen just past the kitchen you come into the living area which is nice and big ceiling fan up here i love the floors it's kind of like gray toned without being too gray I don't know, I think it's a nice neutral color. And then it's really nice here on the other side of the kitchen island. Um, this comes out a little bit. So the plan is to put bar stools here um, instead of doing a dining room table. So I think my plan is to do kind of a sectional sofa with a chaise in this corner over here. And then um, coffee table, probably an accent chair to the side of that. And then coming over to this wall, I plan on putting the uh, TV over here. Maybe on like a console table situation or possibly hung, I haven't decided yet. And then coming through here, you come into the, what is labeled as the dining room, um, but this is what I will actually be using as my office space. It's really nice, it's like a nice little room. Um, it's a good size and it's got windows on three sides. So there's a ton of light in here. I can put my desk over here. Yeah, I really like this space. And then between these two spaces is the door to the balcony, which is the thing that I'm probably the most excited about. So this is actually a really good size balcony it the parking lot is 
right there and then beyond that is little city park i'm trying to keep some privacy here so i'm not going to show you guys the whole thing but yeah it's a really good size it's about 10 feet by 10 feet and it has a storage closet over here i think the water heater is also in this closet so then coming back inside this door off of the living area and kitchen goes into the bedroom so this space is carpeted which is fine and it's pretty typical of austin apartments that the bedroom is carpeted it's really hard to find it otherwise um nice big walk-in closet in here some built-in shelving and rails and stuff which is really nice and then kind of coming around to the right of the bedroom door is this built-in bookshelf, which I think is kind of a cool little touch. And past that, you come into the bedroom. I kind of like that there is a little bit of separation from the living space into the bedroom. So even if my bedroom door was open, if people were over, you can't see like directly into the bedroom. The bedroom is a pretty good size. I mean, I'm not used to even having a separate bedroom, so this is fantastic. Again, these windows are so nice because they go almost all the way to the floor. They're huge, so they do let in a lot of light. And then another ceiling fan. And then this door over here leads into the bathroom, which is really nice. And let me see if I can figure out how to turn off this fan. All right, so the fan comes on automatic. Oh no, it's not the fan, it's the air conditioning. I'm not used to having this. So yes, from the bedroom into the bathroom, there is a little linen closet right as you walk in, which is nice and big and spacious. And then a uh, countertop with two sinks, which I don't need, but I will take. This cabinet door is open because Maya was hiding in there earlier, but tons of storage down here and then really big mirror up top which i love and as you can see behind me is where the shower and tub are this space is really nice uh it's got the white tiles which i love and it's a very deep tub but it's also not too long so my last tub was really long which i'm not a very tall person so it was kind of difficult to sit in so this looks like it'll be kind of a perfect size for a bath Toilet is over on that side. There's a towel bar up here. Love it. And then there's a door on this side of the bathroom that goes back out into the main living space. So if you can see front door is here. If you go to the right, it takes you into the bathroom. This closet here is for the washer and dryer. Sorry, it's a little dark, but we're working with what we got right now. So washer and dryer are in here. I haven't had my own washer and dryer in a very long time, so I'm very excited about this. And lots of storage up above. And then around on the other side behind me is a little coat closet, which Maya needs to explore right this second. And the thermostat is here. Again, I haven't even had a thermostat in years and years and years, so I'm very excited about that and then back out to the kitchen and living area. Oh, and there's also another coat closet, linen closet, pantry maybe. Um, I don't know what I'll use it for yet, but that is in here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you wanna see how this apartment evolves, how I decorate it, and a little sneak peek into my life here in Austin. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.